What is up guys? Rust Belt Mechanic here coming to you live from a nice remote location on my vacation here in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It's amazing, 80 degrees, sunshine, and it's an awesome day here today. Today I wanted to go a little off key and um, go with something that we all think about when we're going on vacation, whether we are prepared or not. I actually had a couple of uh, guys ask me on my truck when I put the sticker on the back of it um, if I was going to put my toolbox back on. And of course I'm going to put my toolbox back on. It's my lifeline. If we go out and you just the thought of being stranded to me is horrendous. So why would I want to be without my lifeline? So today we're gonna to be talking about truck toolboxes. I'm gonna to open mine up here in a couple of minutes and uh, go through what I have in mind. And then down in the description, I'm gonna to wanna to hear you, what you guys have in your truck toolboxes and we'll compare. So first thing I'm gonna start off with is something that is actually not in my toolbox, but it's still part of my preparedness package and I would have it in my toolbox if I lived in a climate normally that was just nice and free of humidity all the time. But I don't so we're gonna have a look and we can still see my new bed liner paint job that's rock hard and awesome now here under my seat I've got I like to keep these things a little bit nicer my OBD2 scan tool and two of the GB70 genius boost charge jumpers these things they say they're rated at 2,000 amps Eh, we might, you know, we'll, we might do a review on those later, but I don't think they're that great. So having a diesel and all, if my truck went totally dead, one of these is gonna eh, try to crank it over, but probably won't. But two of them, we'll get this thing going, no problem. So that's my fancy stuff in there. And now we'll get around into the meat and potatoes. We'll open up the toolbox. See, we got the Duramax Life sticker there so my toolbox a little expression of what I do and what I have so I've got a whole bunch of my stickers up here from little things that I've done here and there so looking in the toolbox we've got trans fluid coolant don't that's not Mopar there is Dex cool 50 50 in there we've got impact sockets for all the different style lug nuts that are all on the other vehicles i've got electrical tape i would have duct tape in here but i took it inside because i had to use it surprise surprise oil just in case there's a little bit of loose on that brake fluid we got blocks ratchet straps tie downs bungees a couple of uh impacts wrenches we've got tire plugs with the plug kit bits in case we have to pull something out of tires with some pliers what else we got in here folding chair in case i want to plop my happy little butt down someplace got a big mamma jamma wrench that will take anything loose half inch got tire chains right there we got shovel I don't know, kind of a creepy thing, but who knows when you might need a shovel. Tire and flavor. Winter time, because most of the time I am in Ohio, I've got uh, my brush and scraper. Trash bags, especially when you have kids, who knows when they might make a big friggin' mess. Toolkit. Got, I know it's not snap-on, but it's what I got. This one hardly ever gets used, but it's nice having it in quarter inch and three eighths. Just about everything you need in there. Plus there's some pliers and stuff in there also. Blanket, sunscreen, game in case we're stuck someplace where we don't need to stop. And another little air compressor thing, just in case my other one goes out. This branches down anywhere. Gotta have us all in there. 
Uh, what else is in here? Bungee cords. Working gloves. Another little battery tender charger down in here. My drill. I think that's about it. I do need to do some more organization of it. I'd like to make some trays over here for sockets and tools and everything. Um, just kind of haven't gotten around to it with this truck yet, but it's something that I'm wanting to get around to doing. But as you can see, this is my lifeline when I go on any kind of trips or any kind of places away from home. So I know that I can have my lifeline. I know there's a couple little more odds and ends down in there, but uh, I know there's some hauling things, some adapters, some hitch adapters, some pins in case I need to uh, pull a hay wagon or something else back there that's not a standard ball hitch. But that's everything that's down in my toolbox. So down in the comments, I want you guys to tell me if you got your toolbox, let's see some pictures or let's see some uh, comments of what you guys have in your toolbox that's different. Maybe there's something cooler in yours that I think I could have that makes my life a little easier when I go on trips. All right, guys, I want to thank you again for stopping by the channel today. I really appreciate all the support and everything that I've got lately. You guys have been awesome. I want to keep on doing these videos for you, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. Make sure you hit that little icon so you can get notified. I want to thank you again. Appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully, you guys get an awesome vacation like I have. You guys keep it easy.